Hey guys, it's Miani and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be yet another monthly grocery haul and this is for the month of October. Today is October 1st but you won't see this video until October 6th because I upload my videos on Thursdays. So I did all of my grocery shopping early this morning and I went to two places, Walmart and Publix and I'm just going to show you basically most of the things I got. Because it's now nighttime, I did put up the the poultry and the dairy and everything else is still here on the table so you guys can see that and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from this side of the table and work my way over to this side of the table so let's get started <laughs> so the first thing that I got was this green pumpkin that I'm going to be putting treats in for Halloween. I'm going to be using it primarily at my job because my job likes to do something for the employees' children. So we have a little party for the kitties and they get to come around to the different offices and cubicles and get treats from the staff. And this was only a dollar from Walmart. Um, so the next thing I got was this Cran grape juice from Publix. I absolutely love Cran grape rather than just plain cranberry juice. Oh my gosh, it's so bitter. And Ocean Spray offers those like mixed cranberry drinks so you'll get Cran apple and stuff like that. The next thing that I got was these 12 bottles here of Glacier Freeze, I think is the flavor of um, 12 fluid ounce Gatorades. I think it is 12 fluid ounces. Yep, 12 fluid ounce Gatorades. I think I picked this up from Walmart as well. Hold on, my pumpkin's falling. Let me put my pumpkin down over here. <laughs> the next item I have to show you is this Mission Flour Tortillas. Yes, honey. Uh, in college, I used to make um, quesadillas, like just regular cheese quesadillas all the time, but I actually bought some chicken breasts from Publix as well so that I could make an upgraded version of that. <laughs> so this time I hope to have cheese, chicken, rice, and a little bit of guacamole. So that takes me to the next thing I have to show you, which are my avocados. I love avocados. My parents used to feed us avocados all of the time, and as a child I hated it unless it had salt on it, but now I can eat them plain. So I really like avocados because they're very versatile. For my um, quesadillas, I think I want to make like some guacamole as well, and I also have sour cream, but I had to put that in the fridge because I didn't want it to go bad just sitting here on the table. The next thing that I got is this Spanish onion. These things, this is a huge onion. I got a Spanish onion. Um, I like to put onion like cut it up and put it in my rice just to give it flavor because I usually cook just plain white rice. The next thing I have here is the Sargento Sharp Cheddar Cheese, which clearly I got for my quesadillas. Next up is this Nature's Own Honey Wheat Bread. I only buy honey wheat um, loaves of bread. I don't buy white or wheat. I've given that a try and honey wheat is, has been my favorite since college. My roommate in my freshman year actually introduced me to Nature's Own Honey Wheat and I've been hooked since then. The next two things I have to show you are my snacks, my pistachio snacks. I think these are such a healthy snack to have and I am lazy so of course I picked up the ones with no shells so I don't have to break them open <laughs> and then eat them. Now I can just eat them straight from the bag. And the last thing over here is are these um, Starbucks Frappuccino vanilla drinks. I absolutely really like these even though I'm not that big a Starbucks person. I like Starbucks but I'm not obsessed with it the way some people are. And I got these from Publix as well as the bread and the cheese and the vegetables and my snacks. I got that all from Publix. So the next and the way I tried to break this up is I tried to go in the order of like food and then hygiene and then house and home products. So that's the way it's kind of broken down here on the table. So next up would be hygiene, I guess. <laughs> and starting with the back, of course, I got Equate Flushable Wipes. For some reason, they're selling like a six pack of these. I think they're about seven bucks. I just get tired of going back to the store and picking up more wipes, so I hope this these six packs last for the entire month of October. I also picked up this body clear body scrub because I do suffer from body acne and this is by Neutrogena. All of this stuff here on the table for the most part I got from Walmart except for these always dailies. I was actually introduced to these by a friend. These are the regular liners. Usually, I usually use a different type of always light day pads which I think they're just called light day pads <laughs> but I picked these up because I think they're just a little bit more durable than the ones that I use which would be better for that time of the month 
Next up is a Dove Dry Spray. I absolutely love Dove Dry Spray. I've tried Degree, but I don't like it at all. So I've resorted to going back to Dove Dry Spray. Next up is my Tom's Clinically Proven Wicked Fresh Mouthwash. I've talked about this in my hygiene routine. Uh, I really like Tom's mouthwash over any other um, antiseptic mouthwash because the other mouthwashes burn my mouth, whereas this makes my mouth feel fresh and clean rather than burnt at the stake. <laughs> so next are these Hanes boxer briefs in the size small. And you're gonna be like, sis, why do you wear Hanes boxer briefs? Well, it's because during the time of the month, I find that I like to wear these to bed. And I will talk about that in a video I have coming up for you guys. Next are these <clears throat> Big Soleil Simply Click razors. Now, I sort of um, first touched on these in my hygiene routine for the summer and I fell in love with these. These just make so much sense to me. You don't have to throw away a whole razor every time you use them. You just have to throw away the head and use a new head. And I just think it's just a lot less waste. I get to keep the handle, put it away, and when I want to use a new razor, I just click one of these heads on and I have a new razor. And this lasts for the entire month of October because I have four, because I only shave once a week now. And you have two left over just for those in-between periods, just in case you got some place to go and you need to quickly shave your legs and your armpits. You know what I'm saying. Next up is this Arm & Hammer Truly Radiant Bright & Strong Whitening and Enamel Strengthening Toothpaste. Now I really am on the fence about whitening toothpaste because they do wear your enamel. So I really want to see how this works. I do have an Arm & Hammer toothpaste but I have to check and see if it's also a whitening and enamel strengthening. I'm not sure if those two things work very well together. So I want to give this a try especially since I have such sensitive teeth. So the next thing I have to show you is the Summer's Eve Morning Paradise Cleansing Wash for Sensitive Skin. Now y'all know I like to try the different, um, the different Summer's Eve fragrances and this is the first time I've tried Morning Paradise and of course I got it in a small bottle because I think that's the only bottle they had and I like to try them out in the small bottles just in case I don't like them. And this I got from Publix. So these two items, toilet paper and paper towels, I got from Walmart. That would be Bounty Basic paper towel and my Cottonelle toilet paper 12 rolls and the paper towels I'm not too big of, like I'm not too fussy about paper towels I do like the paper towels that have like Dawn in them but they're just not um, functional for when you like wash your hands and need to wipe them really quickly because anytime they touch liquid or water they set up because that's what they're meant to do they're meant to get soapy and clean surfaces with soap. So I like to keep basic paper towels to wipe my hands with. My toilet paper, however, I like the ones that are quilted. I think in my last video I said the ones that have ridges. I don't know why I didn't think of the word quilted, but I do love having quilted toilet paper. It doesn't have to be the Cottonelle brand. As, I mean, not yet. I haven't really been able to tell the difference between Cottonelle and any other brand of quilted toilet paper, but I do love quilted toilet paper. Next up, I have two bottles, I'm just move these down. I have two bottles of Mr. Clean Gain Scent. I love this, I love this scent. I talked about this um, Mr. Clean Gain and I think my favorite household cleaners. I love this stuff, I love the smell. I love that you can use it on any surface and anywhere. It is a great household cleaner and it was very, very affordable today. It was $2.62 for the bonus bottles, so. I was happy to get that. Next up are these two um, cleaning towels. I love using cleaning towels and cleaning rags, especially the ones that are like, um, what is it called? Like sham wows, are they like sham wows? I really love these cleaning rags. Like I love them more than I love sponges because you can pretty much just drop them into the washing machine with your other towels and they'll be good to go. Next up are all trash bags and I got these three. Actually I got all of the trash bags from Publix because I think I forgot to pick them up from Walmart. And I like to get the scented small trash bags to pick up my dog's poop as well as put in my bathrooms in the small little trash bins because it just makes things smell so much better. And I also have these scented um, trash bags and these are the scent vanilla flower. 
and these are the scent vanilla flower i really like these trash bags there's 24 in here so i got two for the month of october that is everything that should be everything here on the table every some the other things that i picked up i picked up from Publix, and that would be my sour cream that i got to go with my quesadillas as well as my chicken and my pork chops and my six count of eggs and someone once asked me girl why do you only have six eggs and i had to explain to them sis i don't have breakfast at my house so i'm not gonna waste dairy by leaving some eggs in there when i only make eggs on the weekends so that's neither here nor there thank you guys so much for watching love you guys till next time Bye bye <laughs>